What is going on, Java Minecraft players that play Java Minecraft with Zealot Launcher? Today is New Year's Eve. We're gonna have a little chat. No, you go away. Not you, don't go away. Just keep watching this video because you're someone's showing some support for all the content that I've shared this year so far. Well, probably this is the last video for this year because 2026 is coming and it's going to be gone as fast as you can spit. I mean, 2025 is going to be gone. It's 2025 still and 2026, I hope, doesn't go as fast as 2026 did. I literally said in 2025 that 2026 is around the corner already and Christmas is coming. And then, yeah, Christmas came and now Christmas is coming in 2026 very soon. The older you get, the faster things end up going for some reason. I don't know why. Even though work sucks and it's not as fun as being a kid. That's why I like to play Minecraft. I like to get away, play Minecraft. I'll play other games too, by the way, but I really like Minecraft for the nostalgia. I like playing Minecraft for the mods, like the broken script, for example, which is something that I enjoy actually playing horror stuff like this. And I like a lot of stuff like this, like ARGs, mysterious things on the internet, creepy pastas, all that kind of stuff. That's who I am. I like that kind of stuff. Hey, look at iron they just fall into this cave what the frick okay anyways yeah i enjoy that kind of stuff this channel started this year because i like zaleth launcher zaleth launcher is a great launcher and i'm getting shot at what the heck am i getting killed by what the heck was that okay then playing the broken script so i don't know what the heck i just experienced there anyways yeah i like this launcher because it's kind of like modernth for android and it has a mod loader it has shader pack loaders it has mod pack loaders it's got scope storage it's got a good ui unlike zaleth launcher 2 which is what i'm going to talk to you about today a little bit um <clears throat> i don't mind the ui of zaleth launcher 2 but it's too much so yeah I like to just share this content and share how to do things with people because I know there's not a lot of videos out there that actually tell you how to set up Zale Launcher properly. And there's a lot of slop videos out there too that tell you wrong things. And then it kind of ticks me off and I'm like, okay, I need to show you how to do this properly and not spread false information or just teach you it in English because there's a lot of videos out there that aren't in English and people always thank me for, hey, thanks for doing this in English. I'm like... Wow, I didn't realize there wasn't that many people actually sharing this content in English, I guess. Not that I have anything against other languages, obviously. It's just the fact that there is a lot of not English videos out there for Zaleth Launcher. And probably because a lot of people actually don't even know this exists. A lot of people don't even know that Java Minecraft exists on your phone. Did you know that? Like, there's a lot of people that actually don't know that. And I realized that the other day. So it's cool to actually share this and share how to set it up properly and play Java Minecraft, including mod packs like this one, which is called the only broken script, which is a mod pack I put together, which is basically just the broken script and some optimization mods. Go download it, please. Share only broken script with everybody that wants to play the broken script. Do it, do it now or else you won't get a free Java Minecraft account like the one that just popped up on the screen. So. Yeah, I do stuff like that too. I give away Java Minecraft accounts on this channel, even though this channel is not that huge. And I try to draw people in, not by just doing that, but by showing people cool things and showing people things that they request. Because a lot of people are like, hey, can you show us how to do this? And some people I'm like, well, no, not really. That's something that you need to ask your mom and dad to do or your parent or your guardian. I can't show you how to set up a Minecraft account. That's not really something that I'm gonna show on the channel because that's also against, I think, Microsoft's terms, um, which is not something that I'm going to do. Uh, I think you have to set up your own Microsoft account because Microsoft also has things in place where if you're underage and you're trying to set up a Microsoft account, you're not allowed to do that. And you have to have your parents do that for you. But yeah, that all aside, I would love to show everything and share everything I possibly can, but I can't. You know, it's it's something that I have to follow the, also the policies of YouTube and basically just abide by everything. So, Death Launcher 2 is something that a lot of people have asked me again. Why don't you show anything about it yet? And I will eventually. It's currently in a close-to-release state, but there's still a lot of things that 
I would hopefully like to see fixed before I share anything about it. I don't want to share a guide about how to set up Zaleth Launcher 2 and then find out next week they change the entire like layout or something. So that, that's one big reason. I feel like that's just a waste of time because then I have to go back and redo another video that's exactly the same basically, but tell you, hey, this is outdated now, which is only a month ago and this doesn't work anymore. You know what I mean? I'll tell people how to do things on like Discord. Like I go on Discord, on Zaleth Launcher Discord often and try to share some ideas and tips and stuff like that. And then I'll share my YouTube channel. And a lot of people do agree with me and say, just do use Zaleth Launcher 1 for now because Zaleth Launcher 2 isn't ready, which it's not. And one day, I hope it is. Like it's a great launcher and the developers are doing a good job at that. And so is the team at Amethyst. Amethyst is another launcher. I don't have anything against those two launchers at all. You know, like it's something that those two launchers are doing a good job and hopefully they continue doing the what they've been doing. But it's not a competition of whether or not I like Curse Forge or Modrinth either, right? Like. I don't like Curse Forge or Modrinth over each other. Um, some aspects of Curse Forge I don't like over Modrinth and vice versa, but it's not a matter of, hey, don't ever use Modrinth. Curse Forge is the best. Don't ever use Zaleth Launcher. Amethyst is the best. Now, there's one launcher out there I don't really talk about, and I mentioned it, but there's reasons why I don't talk about that launcher, and I won't talk about it, and some people probably know what I'm talking about. So again, here's another Java Minecraft code. All right, so now that you got another one of those, hopefully you enjoyed that. Yeah, that's why Zaleth Launcher 2 isn't on the channel yet. And I'm here just to basically share that reasoning just very quickly. And then also wish everybody here a happy new year because this is my new year video for this channel. And I hope that everybody has an awesome time this year in 2026 and continues to follow this channel, continues to share this channel with their friends and other people that wanna learn how to play Java Minecraft on Android and even maybe iOS in the future. Um, Amethyst Launcher works for iOS, by the way, but you can go to my other channel, which is DNA Mobile Gaming, by the way, and uh, check that channel out because I share Amethyst stuff there. I only share Zaleth Launcher stuff here, and I think I only ever will because this channel is the only way out, and that's the only way I want this channel to be, is to do with Zaleth Launcher. This awesome launcher that the developers over in China have put together for us so that we can play Java Minecraft with our owned copy of Java Minecraft. As you can see, I'm logged into my account and has this simplistic UI. Again, Zaleth Launcher 2, which is right here, I feel like it's kind of convoluted and it's getting there, but like they're missing features. Like how do you download these renderers? And like, I feel like just, there's just too much going on and hopefully eventually it'll be something where, hey, do you want to use the old UI of Zaleth Launcher 1 with Zaleth Launcher 2 or whatever? But that's all up to the developers and all up to people that, you know, say things in the discords and stuff about what they want to get out of Zaleth Launcher. However, again, happy new year, more content coming. Eventually I'll do a whole playlist for Zaleth Launcher 2. And hopefully you guys support me more on this channel. That'd be awesome. And if you can't support me, then just watch my video content and everything and or watch my videos, not watch my video content, same thing. And uh, have a happy new year once more, one more time. This is Tao Wow. This is what I call it. Tao Wow, the only way out. I know it's not wow at the end, but it's how I pronounce it in my head. I don't know why. I hope you guys have a good happy new year once more time. One more time.